Hi, it's Chandler Sheer. <laughs> Hi, it's Chandler. Welcome back to my channel. You may know me as Timpany Sheher from Babylon B, California, Zoom to Texas. Today I'm going to be reacting to episode three. If you haven't seen my reactions to episode one and two, check them out and uh, stay tuned for the next reaction as well. How are you guys liking the series? Did you guys see the finale yet? Are you loving it? Are you just like dying to know what the fate is of the show and if it's going to continue? So am I. So am I. Um, but in the meantime, I've got these reactions here for you. Share some behind the scenes vlogs. I've got those vlogs for you on my channel here as well. And I've got some other sketches on my channel in the meantime that will uh, hopefully hold you over until we, we get the news. There's also a lot of sketches that I'm in other than California's Move to Texas on the Babylon Bee channel. And there's just plenty of content to keep you like totally entertained for the whole Christmas break. Hope you guys are loving all of that and let's get into the reaction. Also like check out my new like cool like 80s leotard unitard thing. I just love 80s vintage. That is like the one thing you need to know about me, Chandler. Let's get into episode three, The Church. Hey y'all, I'm Timpany, she, her. My husband and I are going door to door canvassing for Beta O'Rourke. You must be new here in Texas. We just moved here from California because our state was being ruined. Anyway, we'd love for you to vote for this politician who's just like the politicians who run California. Don't California my Texas! Obviously, that's the point of the joke of this episode here. Um, Beto, Beto O'Rourke. I know literally nothing about this guy. Um, obviously, he lost. This was filmed right before the election, the midterms. Um, but yeah, I just didn't know much about him. But yeah, neither do the people who voted for him. So, all right, here we go. Well, bless your heart. Aw, bless your heart. <laughs> So, vote for Beto. But isn't Beto some kind of moron? Not according to his official website. It's pretty comprehensive. <laughs> so, how's it going? <laughs> Great, I just got another voter. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that house looks promising. I can get that one if you oh. want. Hey, how about we go together? Sure. With our powers combined, we'll get the whole neighborhood to vote Beto. <laughs> I really want... <laughs> I kept pitching the line, the improv line. We have a lot of opportunity to do improv on set. A lot of the stuff that makes it in the episodes um, is improv on the fly and it's so fun. And I just kept wanting to say, with our interracial love, we'll be unstoppable or whatever the line ended up being. Um, Cause that's how, that's how Timpany, I think that's how Timpany thinks. And I think that's what she wanted to say. With our powers combined, all right, let's see who's in house number three. What powers? Hey, we're out canvassing for Beto O'Rourke. Can we count on your vote? vote? No, I'm sorry. Look, I, I got a lot of letter writing to do. Excuse me, sir, you dropped this. Uh, yeah, we gotta go. Wait, wait, they got Ted Cruz in this? And wait, Zodiac Killer confirmed? Ted Cruz, Zodiac Killer confirmed? Oh, I just, I can't even, I can't even. Also, what is H-E-B? I know that's like a Texas local establishment, but I don't know what it is. Is it a grocery store? Can someone in the comments tell me? so miserable outside. I wish there was an indoor location we could go to where a bunch of Texans gather regularly, where we can just do a bunch of canvassing all at once. The universe always so survives. this is the First Baptist Church? <gasps> so historic. Those are the kinds of things that folks outside the church hey, might need to hear. Is that right? Howdy! Stephen Timpany! Hey, oh, we're, we're just out here canvassing for Beto O'Rourke, and we want to know when's a good time to do that. <laughs> you want to... For our DP said, hey, can you do this? 
And it just turned out so funny. I love our DP, Brandon, so much. He's just like so hilarious and he just makes me look so professional and good on camera. Is that like such a main thing to say? I just really love working with that DP. I feel like we have like a really good flow. Okay, this episode was so much fun to film. We had so many extra little gags in there that unfortunately got cut from the final video that got published. It was so heartbreaking because we had all these little improv moments. Like when we saw the, the church, first of all, there was like a bug in my hair and then I had to like get that out. That was like a really funny moment that got cut. And then there was a moment where after I see the church, I go, ah, oh, the universe provides or something like that. And it was really cute and funny. And there were just like so many of these hilarious moments that just didn't make it into the sketch because we just wanted to keep it a little bit shorter, keep it from getting too lengthy. And you can see that extended version if you are a B premium subscriber. So if you're really itching to see all of our outtakes, all of our extended cuts that don't make it on the channel, then you should consider becoming a B premium subscriber. But hey, for my personal take on behind the scenes content, you can just be one of my subscribers. So, you know, if you got options, you got options. You know, why don't y'all just come have a seat? Sure. We were just talking about some of the amazing things that Jesus has done. So to recap, Jesus takes away our sins. Well, Beto's gonna take away our AR-15s. Safety first. Oh. And Clay? Yes, he's a miracle so worker. Far. And he even walked on water. Well, Beto once skateboarded through a Whataburger parking lot. Jesus. Whataburger. Escaped the shackles of death. Beto once escaped the scene of a car wreck with a blood alcohol level of 0.134%. Yeah, and that's twice the legal limit. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, thank y'all for coming. And be sure to stay for the potluck. Potluck? As usual, I'm gonna stick around for a spell if anybody's potluck? interested in hearing a little more about Jesus. <laughs> I suppose we could stay for the potluck. The one in real life. But remember, no meat. Steve? Steve? Steve! What are you doing? Babe, did you know the only thing we contribute to our salvation is the sin that makes it necessary? Boom. I don't get it! But okay, I fell on set <laughs> when doing this next part. I said like, oh, it's all my fault that it's stupid or whatever. And like, I sat down and I forgot that I pulled the chair back and I fell like flat on my butt and like my legs went up. And it was so embarrassing and everyone reacted and I stayed in character too. I was like, oh, and I just like ran off with my timpani run. And it was so funny. And I really was just like, man, I really thought that was gonna make it in, but still like that got cut out too. But um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig up a clip of me falling, or at least a picture of me falling with my legs kicked up in the air. And here it is. That's his campaign slogan. I can't help that it's stupid. <laughs> Whoa, no. <laughs> Tailbone, are you okay? No, I'm good, I sat up, I oh, fell on my back. Oh, that was great. Oh, Taylor, that was so good. That was so good. That's gonna be amazing. That was amazing. Everybody hurts sometimes. Vote for Beto! It's gonna take all of us! This is foolishness. What? That's his campaign slogan. I can't help that it's stupid. <laughs> There's the run again. This eternal life thing. Hey babe. I'm sorry about earlier. Just got carried away, you know? You're just so impressionable. And it's something that we have to pay attention to. Because you can't just do something just because somebody tells you to do it. Oh, I see you're reading that book I told you to read. It's good, right? Oh, this so good just mm, mm. it's like food for the soul <laughs> why do you have that same look on your face as when i caught you eating meat me look give me that book hey whoa whoa you can't be anti racist taking a book from a black man give me that book <laughs> baby what is this 
Two Corinthians? It's not what it looks like. The Psalms? It's like you're trying to hurt me. No, no, <laughs> babe. Never that. <laughs> hey, we're canvassing for oh, Beto. Oh, outtakes, outtakes, outtakes. Can we count on you to vote for Beto? No. Can we count on you to vote for Beto? As you wish. Really? <laughs> no. It's just you're trying so hard, I wanted you to feel good about yourself. I, I hate for people to lose embarrassed. Hey, Beto. Ted good. Cruz really apparently likes the Princess Bride, so that's why we did that. And uh, no, I didn't get to meet Ted Cruz. That's just some movie magic for you. Um, but it looked really real, right? Um, ah, so that's episode three, you guys. That is such a good episode. I, again, I'm so bummed about these little moments that didn't make it in, but I still think that episode was really, really great because that's when you started to see Steve's character arc and you start to see like, okay, now he's eating meat. Now he's, you know, he's gonna be saved. <laughs> so like, what's going on? Is this like, is this wife gonna like, what's gonna happen to their marriage? Like you start to see the possibilities of what their future might hold. The next episode is the gun range episode, which is a lot of y'all's favorites. And honestly, that one that one might be my favorite too. So check out that reaction video uh, next. And I am just so curious to hear which video, which episode is your favorite. I think a lot of you already shared that with me in my first reaction video, but hey, maybe it's changing the second time around. Now you can watch it all the way through. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for all your support and watching. And uh, hey, if you got any downtime and you're waiting for season two to come out or whatever, you're waiting to find out the news, check out some of my sketches on my channel and let me know what you think. I'd be honored to hear your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.